and only Mr. Fabio Gomez! but to prepare the company for this convention. Uh, during the year, we have made a lot of promise, a lot of promises. Uh, most of them have been delivered, and others, very important, we were waiting for this important moment where the company can acquire the best visibility around the world uh, to make important announcements. So we are extremely excited. I, I spent like a couple of days to figure out what should I say today, what was my, you know, my arguments. And believe me, all the time I come on the stage, I just forget everything. <laughs> really, completely, completely. So I said, okay, never mind. I, I, I've done this hundreds and hundreds of times, but it's like, the first time, all the time. Uh, it's a big emotion. We do this work, we do this business uh, with passion. And we hope that we can transfer all the time we are together uh, this passion, passion to you so that you can uh, see our heart, feel our heart, and finally understand the company where you're working with. So I'm extremely honored uh, today to uh, have all of you here. I know that some of you have traveled for over 30 hours. I think one is in front of me, Paulo Denise from Brazil. We have people from United States, from Canada, uh, from Europe, from Asia. Yeah, Asia is, is near. I mean, it's a few hours. A lot of people from Asia. Uh, we have a new country that have just joined our company recently, like Japan, uh, Taiwan, <laughs> Philippines, uh, that's a lot. and uh, you know South Korea. It's it's coming very hard, very aggressive, and so many many new country are coming uh, and join our movement. Yeah, because we always say this is not a company, this is a movement. Uh, because we are moving so many people, so many culture, so many country around an idea and around a project. And you know when you experience such a great growth and success, 
you have the so-called growing pains, right? And so, you know, in the past few weeks, we have been talking about the growing pains, how we manage the growth of the company that is happening really exponentially all around the world. New country, previous country that was already doing really great with our company. So this incredible growth of the company uh, from the sales point of view, from the number of people that are joining our movement, uh, it's of course uh, introducing a lot of challenge, right? And why today we are celebrating here in, uh, in uh, Bangkok is because we are celebrating a success. We are celebrating an incredible success of our company, our network, our leaders, our products. So before I come, I, a few days ago, I was watching some of the videos that our presidents have made for promoting uh, the event. Uh, I, I guess all of you have seen this small smartphone with uh, the video inside. And I, to be honest, I have not seen all of them because there was many. So just they pop up in my Facebook page. And so some of them, uh, I just click and, and I watch the video. And there was one uh, from our UK president. It's a, a really new UK president that was telling something very interesting. And something that I used to also to, to tell to people also in my, my speech and my events is that, you know, I'm working for a company uh, with this product, with this compensation plan, with this project, with this vision, and I'm successful. I have success. So why are the people with the same company, with the same product, with the same compensation plan, with the same challenges and problems, they don't have success? And so the, 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 our president said uh, it's because you should come to Bangkok to see the vision, to listen to the vision, to understand the vision of this company. So once you understand the vision of the company, then you will understand how to be successful in this business. And that, that is great. I mean, that is something that I always, I mean, you know, we have a thousand and thousand people around the world that they have success making a lot of money or making some money to addition to their income, but they still make it success with this company, this product, uh, this project. And yeah, that is true. You need to understand the vision. So you need to be here in Bangkok to listen, to understand the vision of this company, so that when you go back, you will know uh, what we are talking about. I believe that this is true. As I said, I also used to say the same thing. This is extremely true. But I also believe that this is not enough. It's not enough because a lot of people, they catch the vision, but finally they quit the business or they stop doing the business because of challenges. Uh, now all of you, you know that we have challenges on, uh, on the delivery time because you know new orders comes, 50% more production, unexpected. And so a lot of people, they are down because of this. So why we are here for celebrating? I believe that the missing point after the vision is to change people's point of view, change people's perspective. So I want to give you an example. I think you have seen the beautiful phone before, right? Yeah. Later, I'll show you again. <laughs> okay. If I put this phone like this, I say, and ask you, what do you see? What do you see? A phone, right? I also see a phone. But what do you see? Especially, what do you see on this phone? Life. You see the back cover, yeah. the camera, right? Money. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> you see the camera, you see the back cover. Yeah. I see a beautiful yeah. sunset, flowers, beach, sky, blue sky, and clouds. I'm lying. All of us are wishing the truth. This is what you see. 
and it's real, right? It's real. You see a camera, you see a flesh, you see a back cover. I see a beautiful sunset, a sea, ocean, flowers, beautiful sky. Am I lying? No. no, because I see my reality, I see my truth, this is true. So what we need to do after the vision is change the point of view of the people. You say, how do I change the point of view of people? That's it, it's hard. For me, it's very simple. We just need to show them the other point of view. So if I turn my phone, then I thought, it's true, I'm looking here Beautiful sunset, flowers, blue skies. So, what I'm trying to say is that when people do a business, and a business like this one, with big challenge, big innovation, they need, we need to help people to change their point of view because all the things in life, they have a good and bad. So how we determine it when life is successful, when life is positive, is if we change our point of view and we see the beauty and the greatest things in the things that we do. So I want to help you today to help your people to change the point of view, to change the perspective. And I will do very easily. I will, I will prepare a few slides that I hope someone will help me with slides. Ah, okay, they are there. Okay, so with these slides, I will try to change your point of view. I know that you already see the beauty of the point of view, so helping you to help people to change their point of view. Okay, this project, Hilo, Hilo LX with Word, started less than one year ago. It was July 2016 when we started shipping the first Hilo Classics to the world. And we are new in this market. We are brand new in this market. We, it's the first time we launched this product. It's the, last, the first time we take this such big challenge to not just be a follower. You know, I've been working for 12 years in the telecommunication business, uh, in network marketing with telecommunication. And I create great products, great services, but I was always following somebody else. I was always following the market. And last year, I recognized an incredible opportunity that was the opportunity of a lifetime, was the opportunity that I was waiting for a life. The moment, the right moment into the history of the technology development where you can become a creator. You can create something. You can create a category. You can have the chance not to be any more a follower, but the chance to be a creator, a creator of a product, of a category, where others will become follower. And believe it or not, we have managed to do that in a short year, in a very short year, we have managed to become creator, category creator, and launch to the market something that it's incomparable. Okay, and so, next slide please. Okay, so we have created this life sensing technology. Okay, life sensing technology is our approach to this kind of technology. And so with this technology, we start becoming leader and trend setter. Okay, we are setting the trend. Guys, believe me or not, we have in company around the world, they are copying our product. I, I, I received a few days ago an email, uh, I think from Roman right from you, it was Hero. <laughs> there was a, pro a pro product called Hero, H-E-R-O. And then, a few months ago, it was from India, another company that they called me the product. So we become trend setter. Okay, we become trend setter, category creator. We are the only one that have launched to the market this technology. So I want to give you some numbers. Again, don't forget, I want to try to change the point of view of some of the people or the people or helping you to change the point of view of the people. 
the next slide. Okay, many people don't know this sector is called hem health. Okay, so I, I will not speak too much about this slide. Anyway, the sector we are is called hem health, mobile health, the capability to use wearable technology to manage your health, your well-being, your fitness, and everything about your life, about your vital sign. I make it right now. <laughs> and so you can see these are some of the competitors that are approaching the same market where today we are leading in terms of numbers, in terms of functionality, in terms of creativity. Um, if you can go next slide. Okay, so here you can see some numbers in, uh, uh, if you, I would like to go to the next one, please. Okay, this is very interesting slide. I think this is the one that I prefer. This is the one that, it's my true. This is my point of view. This is the face of the smartphone I was watching before. It's my, this is true. This is my reality, which I'd like to share with you and help you to share with people. In a short year, we are now number four wow. as a smart band, wow. as a smart band producer. Wow. Okay. So we are talking about half a million smart bands. So half a million ELO sold to the market. And I have a good news for you. Uh, the 500,000 is including the one that we are shipping now in June. Okay. So we reached the number four position. This is a, I mean, it's a source of data that has been verified. So this is a true data. So 500,000 we reached now in June. And at the end of June, we already have a schedule of production of another 500,000 devices, which Toshiba have already delivered our chipset and, and our components. Wow. And then, for September 2017, we have the next 500,000 devices in production. What this means for you, I don't want to say, of course, we go stock positive, we will have plenty of stock to sell, but it will mean another thing. Change that number to 500,000 to 1.5 million. <laughs> I think we go like number two. And we just pick one of the sector, which is the smart bands, which we just belong to the smart band sector just for some of the features. But we are in the handheld, and in the handheld, we are the first one. Okay, we are, uh, before I skip that slide, because we are collecting some more information and data, because we want to show why we are the first one in the handmade sector. So, this one is much more impressive, because everybody know Fitbit, everybody know Garmin, everybody know Samsung, and Sony, HTC, oh my god, they are after us. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to jump to 1.5 million devices. And I remember there was a PR press release we launched in January 2017, which we take a commitment with Toshiba and with our market for 1 million devices in 2017. And I have to apologize with you. Because he was pushing me and said, it's too low, too, too low, 1 million, we should go at least double. Then, you know, we try to be conservative, you know how corporate works. You know, your leaders tell you something and you have to do device two, device three, and that's is, you know. So, we, we didn't really take into consideration much of the expectation in terms of pushing the market. So that's the reason why we have 50% more orders that they're coming from everywhere. They're coming from, I mean, two weeks ago there was Germany that just popped into the, business and then Japan, Japan is doing incredible, Taiwan is doing great, Philippines is doing great. Every country is growing at high speed. And so we had the challenge. So we of course try our we're trying our best to manage the production or reorder, add new order into the forecast. Uh, it's not easy stuff. 
that is the reason why I'm not, not here to promise you that we won't have any more uh, stock shortage. No, that's, that's, I can't promise that. I, I hope it will be the other way around. I hope that we will have a triple orders. So that is why it's fundamental that you change the perspective of the people. You change the point of view. If you change the point of view, then you will get your people say, oh my God, I'm in a business where we are pioneer. I'm in a business where we are creator. We are number four, becoming number two. And so of course you need to wait. This is a success story. It's not a drama. It's a success story that we are telling to the people. And so I want to help you, I want to help everybody to have this kind of information that of course they will become public. We will publish on our you know, website and all the official channel where we want to show the real numbers. So this is my point of view. And uh, you know, going to number two, I think this is pretty nice. I mean, it's really... <laughs> And this, you know, some of these companies, they re that numbers with three, four different products. Right. Uh, Fitbit, they have all, I think like six, seven different products. Mm -hmm. Samsung, they have like three products. Garmin, they have like 10 different products. We just have launched one product. Yeah. Right. Actually, to the Yellow Classic and LX. And of course, now we're working to launch other line of products. So, Elo LX Plus. Uh, the LX, the Elo 2. So we are roadmap of number of products that we are going to launch, and so we really hope that we can become one of the maybe the number one. Yeah, I think, I think number one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we are preparing to be number one, and I was doing uh, a couple of months ago. I was thinking, thinking about the future, and I was looking like Samsung, uh, Google, Apple, how they're preparing the future, also in terms of media communication and um, in, into the internet arena. So I was looking, for example, that uh, Samsung have a domain name is uh, www.smartphones.com. Yeah, because they're leader, right? So they have smartphones.com as a main domain where everybody wants to know about smartphones, this is the domain, is the domain name. And then Google, because they're also investing very hard now in the smartwatch technology, they have like smartwatches.com. So I say, we should have smartbands.com, right? So we just get smartbands.com. It's going to give a strong signal to the market and say, look, Okay, smartphones, the leader, yeah, Samsung. Uh, smartwatch, the leader, yeah, it's going to be Apple and Google. And who is leaders now in the smart bands? Or is the leader in the smart bands? So, this is really what we are working with on. And uh, I'm really glad that we are managing to deliver. We are managing to deliver our passion and deliver our promises. Again, with challenges, but we are delivering. Mm. You know, uh, even for the ship, I, I think that uh, before in the Alessandro intervention, he also gives you some numbers. You know, we have been, um, even with this increase of orders, like crazy, we have been able to confirm, like complete, like more, near to 90% of shipments. A lot of people now that have the product in their hands. And, uh, you know, this product, uh, I know that many people, they compare with Fitbit, they still compare with other smart bands, but in reality, uh, this is some work that the company has really doing very hard into try to communicate uh, in a better way the exclusivity of this product. Uh, if you can go next slide. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot see. Okay, anyway, I try to see the slide from here. Um, okay, before I go ahead with the, with the product, I want to show you another um, slide that it shows how we are against the trend and we are making our trend. Um, 
I don't know if legally I, I should be showing this slide or not, but anyway, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's just comparison. I'm not talking bad about any company. I'm just showing that the leader of the market, Fitbit, has a tremendous downside, uh, I'll say down, uh, downside uh, kind of trend. You see from the graph, the first graph. So from the start, they are really going down. And this is basically the trend of most of the trackers and Fitbit, uh, fitness bands. Uh, there's another company which is not public, so I cannot show the numbers. It's called Joe Bone, uh, which was famous, really famous. And they are nearly to close down uh, because of the business drop. And the business drop actually because they cannot cover the real demand of the people. I mean, they just cover the fitness demand. That's not more than that. Fitness and, you know, just managing your, your activities, tracking your activities. We are in a brand new sector. We are in the hem health. Okay, we have a real-time health monitoring device that using life-sensing life technology. And why we are different from others is because we have developed a platform an open platform that is allowing people from all around the world to develop our, their own applications. So that is where the, I'm talking about the ELO App Store, which is just the beginning. Again, it was launched only last month, okay? And we already have hundreds and hundreds of developers ready to build their apps, but believe me or not, we are not ready. We are not ready because we didn't expect to have so many developers at the same time that they want to build apps. And we were still preparing the contracts, you know, preparing the, the paperwork, uh, how to, to manage them, who is going to be the manager to manage the, the developers. So we are just holding them and say, guys, we are working to give you the final API documents, the final um, process and procedures for you to build apps. Fortunately, we have these companies called ICA, uh, which work very close to us. And on the, the next slide, I will give you some more insight about ICA. Um, okay, yeah, I will do now, so since we have the slide. Uh, so ICA is a Silicon Valley company based in California. Uh, it's called MedTech. Maybe no, no one has heard, but this sector is called MedTech. It's technology applied to the medicine. So, uh, Ika is the first company that has started to develop application in our ELO App Store. Uh, I guess that Antonio have already introduced the next application that will be available in the next few days on the ELO App Store. So you will see that application will start to pop up. Uh, this application, uh, we will give a one month of trial. So you, you can try, everybody can try, but then this application will be priced. Okay, so it will be the first application that will create and generate revenue, the passive revenue for your member. I particularly like this application. Uh, it's called Lifestyle Index. Uh, I think that they resume all the meaning of the Hilo concept. Uh, you know, I was telling you that Hilo help you to monitor, uh, real-time monitor your vital sign in order to know what's going on with your body, what's going on with your measurement, and uh, so that you can take action. So this is basically what Hilo is doing, is giving you information. You know information is everything. The information is changing the world. Internet have given access to the information to people in order to change the world. And so is for the health. If you get information, you can manage your health, you can life, you can, you can make your life better. So I believe that, can we go back to the, yeah. I believe that this application uh, is amazing because it's interpreting all this concept. Uh, you work on three area, uh, well-being, uh, activity and the other one was it Mood. moods okay so three area area of your health 
the well-being, the activities, and the mood, so the emotions. And it's calculating with a complex algorithm an index that goes from 0 to 100. And it will constantly update this index on your smartphone. Okay, so every day you will have your index updated. And in addition to that, it will also give you the information about what is wrong. Why my well-being index is low? Why my uh, activity index is low? So I can check on the activity index and I see that I'm not moving enough. I'm not doing steps. I should do something. So I get tips and information, how can I improve my index? Or I may have like the well-being index very low and then I found out that maybe my blood pressure is not very well managed, my hypertension is not very well managed, or maybe, you know, the, the mood, I'm a little bit depressed. So you get the, how to say, resume of all your measurements that individually you used to read every day. You see my pressure, you see my heartbeat, you see my, uh, my breath rate. But sometimes, you know, after you're using the application for a long time, you only look at the, the guardian when you get something wrong, you don't go to see your, your individual measurement. So, the HECA have interpreted the needs of the customers, the users, to get informed in a more, uh, I'd say more in an easier way, more understandable. Because I, don't, I may have a high pressure high, but I don't know this is something wrong. So the index is telling you the overall well-being of the person. And uh, I guess you also have seen the challenge area of the application, which I really love, is you can get your friends, okay, with their index, without details, they just they will with their index. So you may find out that your index is 65 and all your friend is 80. So why am I 65? What's wrong with me? You know, we want to create some an engagement and a challenge with people, family, relatives, where you can see uh, why your your you know your 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 health status actually the index is in a health status level, and I think this application is really achieving what uh, it was our intention to create an informative system that can really help people to improve uh, the quality of life. And so I think this application is really a great application. Again, we will give uh, for one month free and then you will need uh, to pay for this application. So we will see, we're very excited because we will see the first stream of revenue that will come from just one application. So we, we, we're really excited about it. Uh, okay, so next slide. Okay, I want to come, come back to um, WRNT and uh, HICA. Uh, again, we recognize NICA an opportunity to uh, enter into the professional uh, sector. And the reason for entering this professional sector uh, is that every day, and believe me, every day we receive emails, contact, telephone uh, calls, uh, Facebook contacts from healthcare providers, uh, hospitals, university, uh, physician. A uh, small group of uh, doctors and, uh, and the professional in the industry that they have tested ELO and they want to get this product for their activities. Then we always say, you know, we don't have the organization to support these kind of customers. Uh, you know, ELO is not certified, it's a consumer product. So, because of so many inquiries, we have decided to incorporate. ICA and create a brand new division. Okay, this brand new division um, is the medical division. Okay, so uh, it's it's very important for the whole overall project because once we have the version of ELO for ICA, so we will have an ICA version that is medical approved, is made for professional. And you guess what? It's using the same technology. It's using the same algorithm. It's using the same life sensing technology of Hilo. So it will give an incredible endorsement 
and it creates a cross-reference with Hilo so that when you sell Hilo, which is a consumer product, we don't want Hilo to be a medical product. You know that this is the, the small brother, the sister of another device that, yeah, just, of another device that use the same technology and it's made for the professional industry. So that, what that means for you, go to next, it means that we will uh, approach, we will enter in two markets, in a, in a traditional market, the professional market. So we will have the consumer market with ELO and the professional market with GIGA. Uh, this is just addressing what is your demand. Again, every day we have distributors from all around the world that they have connection, they have customers that are professional customers, physicians, hospital, clinics, doctors, nurses. Everybody from this sector actually can be served from the ECA division. Of course, the ECA division is in your product line. So please don't be afraid because I, I remember when I do some previews, oh, that means we, the company is going to sell professional and then it's competing with us. I said, no, no way. I mean, the professional line will be another product in your back office, it will be another product in your portal. Okay. So, uh, of course, then country by country, there will be different regulations. Some country who want to sell the professional uh, products need to get some certification or need to get some license. It will depend country by country. But again, this is a very early stage. I just sharing with you the vision and the future of the company to tell you what is the direction that we are taking as a company. So uh, the incorporation of ICA is on the way. So we already had at the um, uh, MOU, so memorandum was understanding. So this will be converted into an agreement, and then it will be a full acquisition. So we are uh, really excited about this idea because it will complete the positioning of work to the market for the consumer market and for the professional market, which will make our offer uh, really um, unbeatable you know, uncomparable with anyone. We will have the consumer and the professional. And then ECA, and again, please, I, I really need to make one uh, say remark. Uh, this is a preview of the future, it's a preview of what we are working that